Howdy. My name is Claudio Abadze. Santa. Mm, man, if you ain't checked out my last video, make sure you go check it out. And also hit the noti bell so you don't miss upload this summer for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? Since you're over here anyway. You feel me? But today, we got a video from BMAs called Most Extreme Weather Events Caught on Video. Of severe storms, typhoons, and tornadoes. Y'all live in Cali, y'all know how it is. an ice Heat, tsunami? Been crazy. What about blood yeah, red it's skies it's in the crazy. middle of the day? Or waves so big they engulf a five story building? Damn. Yeah, it turns out there's more to extreme weather than just wind, rain, and hail. With that, settle in and brace yourself. But y'all ever experienced hail before, bro? Some of the That's craziest and crazy. weirdest weather events ever caught on camera. Cappuccino Sea. If you've Cappuccino ever visited sea. the beach, you've probably seen a rogue patch of sea foam. This freaky yeah. froth is a natural phenomenon that occurs when high concentrations of organic matter in the water, like seaweed and algae, is tossed mm. around in the wind and the waves. This traps air into it, producing miniature bubbles that accumulate in the bizarre brown froth. It isn't usually I know I ain't the only one as a kid you think this shit was so harmful, but that doesn't mean seeing froggy beach in Australia turned into one giant cappuccino is any less unnerving. I used to think this was soap. I used to be like, bro, the ocean got soap, bro. That's this is when I was a kid, though. All right, you know what I'm saying? So don't come at me too crazy in the comments. I used to really think this it shit may was be soap. natural, but that looks weirdly unpleasant. Not as unpleasant as what this guy's about to go through. Suds up. <laughs> oh, that's all bad. Oh, all in his mouth. That so everything. Good. That's Where so nasty. <laughs> but that's nasty. That's not good. That's nasty. See, look, you got some some of that just stuff imagine looks being super white. Completely consumed and some by dirty. a load of dirty, frothy, salty foam that has the consistency of whipped cream. Ugh. While the majority Bro, of the sea cool foam isn't pee. toxic, some countries, stuff, no. like the UK, dump large amounts of untreated sewage straight into their seas and rivers, which can create toxic froth on the waves. Seeing how it's almost Can't impossible that give, to like, tell the, the two types of foam that, apart, you know, catch I think eat. I'll stick to the sun like Thanks. But what would you do? If you dive right in, hit that like button. If you'd stick to the sun loungers like me, hit that subscribe button. Hey, that's well a little, uh, that's Great. a little neat way to get us. What weird weather light. phenomenon have we got next? Uh, I gotta figure out a way to do that. Uplit lightning. Uplit lightning. We all know that lightning strikes start in clouds and either streak across the sky from cloud to cloud or hit the ground, right? I've but never seen case, lightning. How do you explain like I've, this? Like, like I've seen like the flashes of it, but I've never actually seen the stream of lightning. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've never seen it with my own eyes in person, IRL. Yo, that looked like it came from old boy house. Nah, somebody on that block got superpowers, bro. No, you're not going insane. The lightning spidered up from the ground. This is a phenomenon that came from somebody else. lightning. One that scientists don't fully understand. What they do know is that these upward strikes spring from the tops of tall structures and are triggered by other strikes in their vicinity. According to simulations, these other strikes enhance the ambient electric field around the structures, enough to trigger a lightning strike starting from towers as short as 10 stories. Damn. Well, the scientists may not fully understand it, but I know yeah. that I'm moving to a ground floor apartment pronto. That's Take crazy. a right hand. Freezeway. Freezeway. Ah, Lake Michigan. I'm gonna lie, One of hard. North America's five great lakes. With a mammoth 3,200 miles of shoreline, this lake is home to around 100 lighthouses. And that might seem like a lot, but the weather here fluctuates so much that every last I'm gonna lie, that looks is essential. So crazy, you bro. see, while the Midwest can receive heat waves the that waves stretch into triple that? digits, it can also experience arctic Wait, he say it get what that stretch into triple potential you see while the midwest can receive heat waves that stretch into triple digits it can what the f why are y'all out there bro it's arctic fronts in the winter with temperatures well below zero 
and winds exceeding 45 miles per hour. This can drive waves on the lake to crash more bro, than 20 bro, feet over buoys, markers, and lighthouses. Just hearing but it, as bro. cold as that looks, it's nothing compared to what the blistery freezing fronts, often more than oh, but it gets even degrees colder. below zero, leave behind. See, I love cold weather. The freezing you know, water that was that. crashing against these structures is frozen love, solid on them weather. and on their piers, leaving them coated in incredible swaths of ice. Some years, the but coating it's a dope the place to do a movie, though. isn't much, but on others, it has to be seen to yeah, be I believed. No money. It was so thick Let Mother in 2019, Nature for example. For it, no professional climbers were able to film themselves hacking their way up the side of them like they were mountains. They look like castles plucked from another world. No, that looked like a uh, uh, that looked like a giant or something, bro. Like a weird, uh, weird great. monster. Or let it go. Stuck in my head for the rest of the week. <sighs> <laughs> Tsunami, tsunami ice. Eyes. Tsunami These ice. Other properties can boast incredible views all year round, whether it's in summer when the waves are crashing, or in winter when it's all iced over. Except when the winds pick up in the winter, y'all know what a tsunami is. And all of a sudden, is, hundreds of tons of mammoth-sized ice blocks begin crawling out of the water and inching towards your home. It's moving super slow. How does this even happen? What the fuck? Despite what it looks like, the ice doesn't actually have a mind of its own. This is what's known as an ice shove. Though it's sometimes referred to as an ice Where'd the ice come from? Because of how big the ice can be and how fast it can roll in. Like it did on the Cuscoquim River in Alaska back in 2020. Bro, what the hell? <laughs> Bro, y'all better run. Yep, time to move. <laughs> Let's roll. Get on, get on, get on. What? Get on. I ain't gonna lie though, when places have weather like this, they be like the some of the dopest places to live occur at. Like, when strong winds or currents running like underneath force the ice from the water's shit. surface mm -hmm. to shatter and pile up on the land. And while it might seem tempting to get close, be careful. In stormy conditions, there's no telling. They routinely uproot trees, break down doors, and even damn entire homes. Nah, mm -hmm. bro. Imagine waking up, bro. <laughs> you see a thing. You see bricks of ice in your home. Just, just. Just knock down half of your house. What Wicked do you do? That's a tsunami if right there. If you've been subscribed to this channel for a while, you might Imagine remember my that video from ice. several years ago that took a dive into some of the biggest waves ever recorded. You might as well ask God to save you space ocean, Like me, up just there, watching bro, surfers and tankers roll there. around in 70-foot waves is enough to turn your legs to jelly. But giant waves don't just occur in the middle of the ocean. Back in 2015, Typhoon Chan Hom terrorized the coast of China anywhere. with its 140 mile per hour winds whipping up waves at the coastal city of Wenling to a horrifying. Bro, you do something like high. this, bro. You ain't got no These chance waves of life, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Inland. Bro, the, the only people that survive things like this are Olympic swimmers. Forced more than 1.1 million people to evacuate their homes. But this wasn't the last time scary storm waves of this magnitude tried to take Man, on buildings. I'm thankful along that the coast. California don't deal with nothing like this. Back in 2020, this, the Mediterranean storm here. Gloria arrived on the shores of Mallorca <laughs> with winds of 71 miles per hour. While not as severe as Typhoon Chan Hom. They were still able to whip up waves more than 27 feet tall. Ooh, bro, this defeats all purpose of building a, a, a five-story building. So for all construction workers, y'all about to save yourself right now. Stop building these story houses, bro. People can't even don't even have time to run to the top to get on the helicopter. Helicopter can't even get into the atmosphere. <laughs> Hey, no, 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 no disrespect to the people out there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but this, I this do is, this appreciate is crazy, the relentless bro. optimism of these guys. 
But if a giant wave literally washed over a three-story building in front of me, what I'd be running do, away bro? from it, not towards it. Dust storm. Usually when you see dark clouds bad, yeah, rolling overhead, you need to grab your umbrella. But what do you do if you look up at the sky and see a gigantic wall of orange clouds like this? When the fuck am I shit turn on? At Planet... It's a cloudy world, you know what I'm saying? Don't piss me off. Or you'll go through something like this, you feel me? <coughs> I don't think an umbrella is going to cut it here. Here being Diego de This ain't that bad, right? In Chile, back in March Unless you're not supposed to breathe it in. And this isn't horrible. any normal storm. It's a dust storm. Sometimes called a sand storm, these ominous phenomena arise when strong wind fronts blow loose sand or dirt from a dry surface, like a better call Zendaya and Timothy Charolais, or whatever his name is. Stretch of land or desert after a drought. This accumulates in dense wall-like clouds that can measure up to 37 miles high. And while an approaching storm looks terrifying, being inside one is something else. Bro, this looks insane, bro. This looks like this could be in a video game. The whole place is red, bro. What the hell is this person saying? They can breathe in it, though, right? Because she just standing up there, like... So it's not too bad, but you can't see, so you probably can't drive. People probably can't drive. Light filters through the dust and sand, submerging everything in a haze, which, interestingly, changes in color depending on the that type of dust you're hell. squinting through. Bro, somebody can be in the shadows, bro, and they will look like a damn creature or an alien, bro. Dystopian orange like haze, for example. But in this southern shit. Iraq, the iron-rich oh, sand Iraq? and clay of the landscape Gives I like the way the sound looks. Like this one from 2010, Ooh, that an unreal red hue. Looks scary too. Not bad, huh? Apparently she's across the river, which is something. probably less than 100 feet. Invisibility this way, jeez, I don't know, 50. I mean, they can breathe and everything, so at least that's that way, same that's thing. a good part. Can't even tell what's down there. With dust this hey, red, man, if you ever live in a place like this, bro, y'all gotta let Earth me know. Or on Mars. It's like, hey, man, y'all let me know if y'all want more videos like this, man. I like these videos because, you know, I'm a Cali native, a California native, you know what I'm saying? So I don't get weather like some of these other places do. So it'll be kind of interesting to see what other people go through, you know what I'm saying? Because then they kind of, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro, just seeing uh, them saying it's triple digits at that lighthouse, bro, when the sun come out, it made me feel a lot more cooler in my situation even though it's hot just based off of that i'm like bro they going through worse things than i am right now bro they turning into my color